My name is Stephanie Willoughby and I'm a family photographer here in the great state of New Jersey. Jersey is full of small towns with big personalities, which is why I want to explore what makes your community special. I'm interested in the stories that your community would tell if it had a voice. This is Homegrown. Today we're visiting my favorite shore point, Asbury Park, New Jersey. If you haven't been here, you must come here. Asbury is famous for their boardwalk, their nightlife, and their proud LGBTQ community. As the saying goes, everything is better in Asbury. For all the times I've been to Asbury with my clients or my family, I have looked up and seen weddings and parties and celebrations at Watermark. Overlooking the ocean, Watermark is the go-to venue for Asbury. My name is Russell Lewis, and I'm the owner and creator of Watermark, which you're sitting in. This is a really cool place. Oh, thank you. It's really much. amazing. <laughs> thank um, you. How long have you guys been open here? Uh, I just celebrated my 10th anniversary last November, so uh, this is my 11th summer being open for business. That's nice. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did you think, like, when you started that? Well, you have a, an amazing space. Thank yeah. you. It's really cool. How did this all get started? Well, I'll see if I can give you the uh, condensed version of that. Okay. Um, I uh, bought a falling down Victorian home here, my husband and I, uh, in 2004. And uh, we're living full time in New York. We spent a year and a half renovating and I wanted a reason to live at my beach house year round. And I couldn't find a good drink in town, which is the truth. Okay. <laughs> so I put Two and two together. <laughs> um, I, actually, I, I did see a hole in the market here. And I thought, oh, you know, some, any, anyone who opens up a half decent cocktail lounge here, it's gonna do really well. So light bulb went off <laughs> and I started pursuing that. And one thing led to another and things fell in place. And I walked into this space in the summer of 2007 and opened in the fall of 2008. That's just incredible. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact that it was just sitting here, sort of waiting I, for you. It was sitting here waiting for me, yeah. I was walking over dead pigeons when I, uh, when I first viewed this space, yeah. yeah. Well, Asbury wasn't what it is now, no, then, either. No, So you had to have not just vision for right then and there, but like strong future vision as well, like seeing the bigger well, picture. I saw Asbury Park as sort of a blank canvas, and I saw lots of opportunity for a lot of people to come in and help create and help paint and help um, create the artwork that we have uh, today now. Um, and, but I did I did see a lot of opportunity. You guys thought of everything. We, we, Lighting right, and mood and... Well, uh, well, my background's theatrical producing. I was involved in five shows that wound up on Broadway. So oh. I'm lights and sound and the production of things. And my husband is a wonderful architect and designer, so. What do you think it is about Watermark? Because the minute you mention you're going to Asbury, this is like a come to, go to place. I think it's probably uh, a combination of a, of a handful of things, but the tangible things I think is we, I have a philosophy here, I have a doctrine, I run things a certain specific way. We're not your typical Jersey Shore boardwalk bar, that's for sure. We take pride in our product and we are a mixology lounge, which means we're uh, working in the art, the craft of the cocktail. So everything is made handcrafted from, you know, from the bottom up in each glass. We squeeze all of our own juice fresh daily. We make all of our own mixes. So we take um, great care in the product uh, that we put out. I think that's first and foremost. I wanted this to be a year-round environment and I wanted there to be a really great product, great service just happened to be on a boardwalk on the Jersey Shore, but I really wanted to elevate that level of service and quality. So everything about Watermark, the way we designed the couches, the way the orientation, everything is to support socializing. There's nothing to take you away from your great cocktail, socializing, and that view. So that's why everything is orientated and designed out this way. So we were very specific about 
the environment, what was here, how it was designed, how it was oriented, and what wasn't here. We don't want televisions or live music or any of that to distract you from connecting to one another. And I think it's a bit of a lost art. I think people do want the opportunity to be able to connect with one another, but I don't know that everyone knows how to anymore. Mm. You know, like we're so used to posting and like taking a thousand photos and all of these wonderful things. And especially of a certain generation that you have coming up sort of now too. Um, because that ocean's a pretty cool thing to take a picture with. And and it's not so bad. Do. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not a bad, it's not a bad not so thing bad. at all. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the town of Asbury. Being that you're a resident here, being that you've seen it sort of change over the years, what are some ways you could describe Asbury for people who haven't been here before? Well, it's a very diverse community. There's a little bit of everything here, which is what I really appreciate and like being amongst. One of the things that I think people don't quite realize or understand about Asbury Park is that we're actually a city. Even though we're 1.4 square mile, we actually are a city. So we have a dedicated central business district. We have a light industrial zone. We have different residential zones. We have this entertainment zone down on the boardwalk. So when you step back and look at how it was designed and structured and built, that was the thing that got me really first interested in Asbury was sort of all these, just the way the town was laid out and designed. And it was always designed with the intention of entertaining people. I think it's one of the things that I am and a couple of other um, community leaders are trying to preserve now and trying to protect. Yeah. Um, we don't want our young, creative, sexy, tattooed, edgy community, not uh, being able to live here, not being able to afford to live here. So we're trying to put in um, measures right now for housing um, so we can protect and retain that colorful, interesting part of our community. I want to thank you for having us sure, and chatting pleasure. with thank us you. and touching on all things Asbury. You're a good person to know here. Thank you very much, yeah. Will. Um, thank you very much for stopping by. Thank you. And you know where you can get a good mojito anytime. Signature cocktails and a sunset you can't beat. If you decide to have your next event here, will you please invite me? I'd love to come. Every Jersey girl has her favorite shore point and I am lucky enough to call Asbury Park mine. Beautiful and colorful and artistic and musical. You can't beat the arts, the food and the people of Asbury Park. Visit us on Tap Into TV or on Instagram at Homegrown NJ. I'd love to hear about your small town and where you think we should go next. Until next time, I'm Stephanie Willoughby and this is Homegrown.